Welcome! In this video, we'll take a look at how easy it is to get started with Cisco Intersight's infrastructure service, which provides cloud-based lifecycle management of Cisco UCS, Cisco Hyperflex, and third-party infrastructure. Let's navigate to Intersight.com and take a look. Here we are at Intersight.com, and the first thing we'll need in order to set up an Intersight account is a Cisco ID. If you don't have a Cisco ID, you can click on Sign Up and follow the on-screen instructions to create one. After you have your Cisco ID, click on Create an Account to create a new Intersight SaaS account. Before the account can be created, you must read and accept the End User License Agreement, or EULA. Once you have read the information, check I Accept and then click Next. Next, you must assign a unique name to your Intersight account. This is an arbitrary text field, however, it must be unique across all Intersight accounts. Once you have entered a name, click Create. Note that Intersight will inform you if the name is already in use, in which case you will need to enter a different name. On the licensing page, customers have two options. Those that already have Intersight licenses in their smart account can click on Register Smart Licensing and follow the on-screen instructions to add a product registration token from their smart account. The other option, which we'll choose here by clicking Start Trial, will enable the 90-day fully featured and risk-free Intersight trial license. On the Start Trial page, click the radio button next to Infrastructure Service and Cloud Orchestration and then click Start Trial. Next, you'll enter your newly created Intersight account and you'll be greeted by the Meet Intersight page. If this is your first time in Intersight, I highly recommend you click Let's Go and spend a few minutes getting a tour of the Intersight platform. In this case, we will click Skip in order to continue. Next, we'll use the new service selector at the top of the page to navigate to the System section. The System section of the platform allows you to view and configure many different aspects of your Intersight account. In the Settings subsection, you can view account details and notifications, configure single sign-on, manage access and permissions through users, groups, roles, API keys, and more. We won't go into detail on each of these items in this video, but I highly recommend spending a few minutes here getting familiar with the available configuration options. The Admin subsection allows you to manage targets, view audit logs, manage licensing, and more. Since we're currently running the trial license of Intersight, if you decide to purchase licenses in the future, you can revisit the licensing page here at any time, select Actions, and then register Smart Licensing to activate the licenses and register with your smart account. The final step in this quick getting started video will be to navigate to the targets page and claim one or more targets into the new Intersight account. The main targets page will show a list of all targets that have been claimed into this particular Intersight account and will show their connection status as well. Since this is a new account and we have zero claimed targets, we currently have an empty list. So let's go ahead and claim a target by clicking claim a new target. Here we can browse the list of supported targets and select the type of target we'd like to claim. In this example, we'll add a Cisco UCS domain that is managed by UCS Manager. We simply select the appropriate target type and click Start. Now we simply need to retrieve two pieces of information, a device ID and claim code from the management interface of the desired target. In this example, we are claiming a UCS domain through UCS Manager. However, this process is exactly the same on other devices, such as a standalone server or Hyperflex. Once logged into UCS Manager, we can find the information we need under the Admin tab and then Device Connector. We can observe that the current status of the Device Connector says Not Claimed, which means we are ready to proceed with claiming the target. Simply copy the device ID and paste it into Intersight. then repeat for the claim code as well.
Once both are entered into Intersight, click Claim. You should now get a confirmation that your target has been claimed successfully and see your target in the targets list. Repeat the process for all targets that you would like to manage from Intersight. Once all targets are claimed, you're ready to navigate to the Infrastructure Services section to manage, configure, and deploy your infrastructure. That's all for this video on how to get started with Cisco Intersight Infrastructure Services. Remember, if you need help at any time, there is a help menu in the upper right hand corner with links to the online help center, platform walkthroughs, and other helpful information. Thanks for watching.